Okay. What are we going to do? We should do an existentialist film about a film student who is trying to survive his hectic school schedule. What? How is that going to get us any credibility? Oh, we could shoot like a documentary. Yeah. You know, we could use a webcam and make it like found footage on YouTube. I mean, how would that be remotely interesting? People don't want to watch a film about a guy sitting around his computer in his underwear all day. No mass appeal whatsoever. Why does it need to be? Why can't we do something that's meaningful for a change? Why can't we do something that challenges the way that people view film? Mm -hmm. We need to make a product people want to see. You know, we got to give our films the ability to gain the credibility. And then, and only then, can we experiment. He's got a point. You know, we really should gain credibility first, then gain a following, then break down film's essence. Okay. Well, what's your suggestion? I'm thinking big. Explosions, cars, girls, money, the whole shebang. Yeah, and if we use a handheld camera, we could sell any special effect we add in later with a little motion tracking. I like it. I like it a lot. And those are in right now. I mean, people would expect that sort of thing. That's terrible. Wow. Okay, at least I was thinking about something people actually want to see. Audiences need to see deep, meaningful films that transcend the amounts of gratuitous violence and explosions and breasts. I mean, we should be inspiring upcoming filmmakers and acting as a model to help forward the craft. Uh-uh. No, you need to get your head out of the clouds. This right here, this, this is the film business. You know, we gotta go with what the market says if we plan on being remotely successful. You would rather go with cheap thrills and sleazy gimmicks than make a quality piece of cinema. I want us to make a profitable piece of cinema. Uh, can we do both? Weren't you listening? This man wants to pervert our art. Pervert? Hey, I'm just going with the market here. You know, film has always been a spectacle. Ever since them, uh, them Lear brothers? I mean, people love them because they were shocking. People got so used to that, we got to keep pushing that envelope harder and harder. I'm talking big budgets, big explosions, bigger TNA. <laughs> That's what sales. You know, so I'm sorry if your cerebral cinematic, art house, crap. I mean, that's not making it in the biz. It really isn't, son. Don't you think we should be using that influence to change the way people view and interpret what's entertaining? I mean, film. The beauty of film is that it can be communicated in so many different ways. I mean, if you're blind, you can hear it. If you're deaf, you can see it. If you speak another language, film communicates its message through cinematography and mise-en-scene. I mean, film can be transformed and translated to, to match so many different individuals' interests and desires. And, I mean, sure, the spectacle sells, but honestly, it deters the progress that film has worked so hard to gain. Okay, pause. Pause right there. Okay, do you see what I'm talking about? We can use your artistic expression, okay, and your means of funding you know, to make money and educate audiences, we can be like Christopher Nolan. If people think we're remaking Christopher Nolan's films, well, don't leave that up like candy. Uh, I didn't mean copy per se, but uh, we could emulate him and his style, and people like him. Yeah, or we could just remake his films. You stop pulling Michael Bay on me, and I will shut this whole thing down. And no lens flat! I mean it. That's gonna be kind of unavoidable considering we're using lenses. And lights. And that is in right now. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't just ignore a popular trope because it's mainstream. Yes, yes, I can, and yes, I will, and you will watch me. All right, that's it. I am sick of listening to you two bickering. I just, I'm gonna watch something, if not myself, so. What in Woody Allen's good name are you going to shoot? Do you, do you even have a concept? Do you have a script, a budget, a production schedule, bikinis for the extras? Not a, I am just going to shoot. Whatever I want, because honestly, anything's better than sitting here listening to two of you, okay? Look outside. It's 21st century. You can post anything online and it's an audience, okay? So you two little birds can keep hashing it out and maybe one day, upper verbing maybe, you'll reach an agreement. But until then, uh, I'm gonna go shoot, edit, and upload. I 
I swear, he has no concept of second cinema. Yeah, like Inception. No. no. 